Java. So here we have a agriculture robot. So the agriculture robot can be it's a multi-purpose robot. It can be used for uh, different functions. So mainly, first we can see the functionality. So the setup is here. We can use it for uh, digging the soil. And the second setup here, we can see a small container here. So this is a seed uh, container, and using it, we can. Uh, this is a seed dispenser. So uh, based on the, based on it working, it can dispense a single seed at a time. And then there is water tank and uh, water pump is here for dispensing water. So these are the different uh, different functionalities. So you can dig uh, ore and uh, in soil, and it can dispense. Uh, see, and also you can uh, spray water in, in that particular position. So, water tube is uh, going through here, and uh, so if you see the if you see the robot here, we have a Arduino Uno board uh, for controlling. The Arduino Uno board is used for controlling, and the relay is used for relay is used for uh, controlling the water pump. So water pump uh, is attached behind the water tank here. Behind the small water tank, we have a water pump attached here, and the water pump is controlled through the relay. Controlled through the relay, and uh, and here we have inside the inside here we have uh, the both the we have a 29 3D driver board, and uh, we, here we have a HC05 Bluetooth module. So this Bluetooth module is so we have two options here in the robot. Either we can you put it into manual mode and uh, control it by using uh, commands. So every single function has a command. For example, like for moving forward, you can give character of. So if you send character of, uh, then it will move forward. So similar to that, every single uh, function has a command word, command character. Based on that, you can control it manually. Or you can just by giving just a single character A, you can put this into automatic. So if you put it into automatic mode, automatically uh, a sequence of uh, functions will happen. So for example, first of all it will start digging, and once it is done with digging, it will for move a little bit forward, and then it will dispense the seed in that position. Once it is done dispensing, it will move a little bit forward again, and then it will pour water over the uh, over the seed. And in case if there is an obstacle, we have an ultrasonic sensor for detecting the obstacle and it will avoid the obstacle uh, effectively and then continue with the operation. So we can use it in autonomous, uh, automatic mode. In automatic mode, it will continuously move in straight direction, in, uh, in straight line and it will go over the task, all the three tasks continuously in a sequence. And for powering the whole mode uh, robot, Including DC motors and microcontroller and all the sensors, uh, we have a 12 volt DC uh, 12 volt battery here. So this is a rechargeable battery, and the battery is connected to a power supply here below the uh, robot. We have power supply board here, and the battery is connected to the power supply board, uh, board here. And the whole setup is powered by the powered through the power supply board. So the uh, Arduino you know, sensor, DC motor, everything is powerful. Same uh, for battery. That's it about the battery.